Hello my friend, in this video I just want to show you why it is very cool to know assembly and low level stuff. The game is simple, we are gonna write a simple function in C that is gonna call a function in assembly. Yeah, we can do that. So let's create our file main.c on the other side foo.s. So let's start from main, the usual boilerplate. Include sdo and we're gonna printf a digit and this digit is gonna come from the function foo. At the very top, we need the actual prototype. So int foo void. This is gonna be our assembly function. Okay, we are ready with the main. Now let's write in assembly. By now you don't have to understand what is going on really. I want just to show you the cool parts that you can get with assembly. So initially you're gonna write dot global and the name of the function, which is gonna be by convention underscore foo global. It's simply stuff for the linker to make the foo function visible to all the modules and then we have to define the foo function so we say underscore foo colon and then the return at the very end here we're gonna have the body of the function we want the easiest function ever namely return me furniture to do that we have to put the value 42 in the register a. This is a calling convention. Again, you will see. So I need a movement instruction. And this one is move. What do I want to move? Well, I want to move an integer. So the suffix is going to be hell. The source is going to be $42. It's going to be the value that I want to put in the register. Destination is going to be percent e a x. So this is the register A. Here is written in assembly. Put 42 in register A. And then you simply return. So let's compile everything together. So gcc main.c foo.c, enter. And if I launch this, I get 42, right? Everything works. Now I want to see the hexadecimal representation of the foo function. To do that, I will use obj dump, which is a disassembler. You simply do obj dump d a dot out. As you can clearly see, this is the assembly code that we wrote, right? Move l 42 into EAX, and then you return. Now, this is the actual code that is going on. So we have B8, right? Then we have 2A, which is basically 42 in hexadecimal. And then we have three zeros, right? And then we have C3. These, my friends, are two instructions on a machine level, which are found at these specific places in memory. 3F7A, 3F7F. What is this B8? Well, just go online and search something like it's 86 opcode table reference, enter. And you will get something like that. Let's search for B8. You can see here at the very top, let's click. As you can see, we get this operation, B8. Long story short, this is an instruction that is able to move data around. The other one is a C3. We search for that, C3. And of course, we're going to get a return. Return from procedure. Here we have indeed a move, right? As we can see from the assembly symbolic representation and a return. Again, assembly is just a symbolic representation of binary code. As you can see, these two instructions have a different length. And this is what happens with x86 machines. You can already see that is written basically a hey, move this value, which is 42 into register a right b8 stands for move into register a c3 stands for return cool now to be clear if i move the value 42 into another register for example ebx stuff is not going to work let's try again we'll compile and then launch and as you can see i get gibberish the thing is that by convention the return must be in register A. This is a convention, we will see profoundly about these things. So now if I compile again and I launch, you see that we get 42 again. All right, so what is the cool part that I wanted to show you? I want here on the side to have the obj dump and here with vim dash b to open a file which is binary, I will open a dot out. Of course, this is all the gibberish, but we can use a specific tool to see what is really going on with this file. To do that, I press colon, percent sign, bang. Basically, here is written in Vim language, take all this file 
And then what do you want to do with this file? Well, you want to apply the util xxd. Okay, enter. Now, this is what we get. We basically get the hexadecimal representation of all the executable. Now, let's go in this position, 3f7a. To do that, we simply do a vim search, so colon slash 3f7, enter. We get exactly in this position, 3f70. So every two hexadecimal values are going to be one byte. So this is 70, 71, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And here we are, number 10, right, my friend? B8. Here we have B8, 2A, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, and then C3. So you see that my foo function is exactly this one. B8, 2A, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, C3. Here in this hexadecimal representation is written, move the value 42 into register A, and then simply return. So we can do something bizarre, right? We can change this file. Here is written move, right? B8. Let's assume I want to move the biggest integer. How can I do that? Well, given that we have a little Andean representation, I have to write FF, 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 and here at the very end is going to be 7F, okay? But now I have to convert back to the origin in this file. To do that, I just press colon, again, the same pattern as before. So percent sign, exclamation mark, all the file, and you apply x, x, d, dash, r. This is going to basically reverse the file to an executable, to a binary file. Enter. And as you can see, we are back to execution land. Now let's launch this boy, enter. And as you can see, I get max int this time. You see how we managed to change directly on a binary level the code. It's pretty cool, right? Once we understand what is going on with all these operations. Indeed, as you saw, there is plenty of instructions, right? There is plenty of stuff that we can do in assembly that is totally obscure to us on a higher level. But at the end of the day, we are talking about numbers. So B8, move a value. C3, return from a function. So now when you see an executable in its binary representation, this total gibberish starts to make more sense. Let's try to visualize the full function in binary. Let's open again with Vim and let's do the conversion. So all the file xxd, this time dash b to convert in binary. And let's go again at the correct address. Let's do 3f7, boom. So here we have 7, 8, 7, 9, 7, a. And we have this binary 1011100. 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, 0. 1, 0, 0, 0 is 8, right? And 1011. 1, 1, is the value 11, which basically is B. So here we have B8. Sounds familiar, right? Is this one, B8. And we know from the table that B8 is a move operation. Then we have the actual values. You can see it's all ones. We have four bytes with all ones, and the most significant byte has zero with all ones. Indeed, we have here the biggest integer. So you see how we can read this piece of binary with this knowledge that we have. Here is written, move in register A, max int. So that's it for this video. I hope this will give you some enthusiasm into studying this assembly low-level stuff.